Thanks. The state's top court heard oral arguments today in the case against former heads of the Holyoke Soldiers Home. The Commonwealth is appealing the dismissal of an indictment for elder neglect after the dementia housing units were merged at the home during the pandemic. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver has more. Lexi. Chris, the state is looking into the former superintendent and the former medical director's alleged roles in that deadly COVID-19 outbreak in the Holyoke Soldiers Home back in 2020 that took the lives of nearly 80 veterans. And one of the main things the court is trying to uncover is did Holyoke Medical Center reach out to Bennett Walsh or Clinton to offer assistance with taking in veterans? Wednesday, the state Supreme Judicial Court hearing arguments in the Holyoke Soldiers Home case after a judge dismissed the criminal neglect charges against former Superintendent Bennett Walsh and former Medical Director David Clinton back in 2021, saying there wasn't enough evidence to prove their actions led to those deaths. Close to 80 veterans died from the virus in the home in 2020. In September of that year, Walsh and Clinton were indicted by a statewide grand jury on neglect charges after it was alleged they put more than 40 veterans in a dementia unit that usually only houses 25, knowing some of them were COVID positive while others weren't. Walsh and Clinton were each indicted on 10 criminal charges. If convicted, they could have faced decades behind bars. Attorney General and Governor-elect Maura Healey filing an appeal to that ruling in December of 2021, saying, quote, the tragic loss of life at the Holyoke Soldiers Home broke the promise that our Commonwealth would honor these men who bravely served our country. We are filing this notice of appeal to pursue accountability on behalf of their loved ones and communities. On Wednesday, Assistant AG Anna Lumensky presented arguments for the Commonwealth. Wealth. If you look at the testimony of the witnesses, they describe bodies on top of bodies. They describe a war zone situation. They say that uh, one, of the, one of the family members said she felt like they were being treated like a barn full of animals, that um, it was a death trap. The court grilling the Commonwealth saying they have to show probable cause and reckless neglect. What you need to show, tell me if I have this wrong, is that all this is creating an increased re risk of a substantial likelihood of harm. They have no staffing. They have, to, they have to do something. But to me, the critical fact is this. What's, there is some availability at the Holyoke Medical Center, right? Yes. Without that, though, they're, they're doing the best they can, right? Meantime, Dr. Clinton's attorney argued his issues with the indictments. But there was absolutely no evidence that Dr. Clinton met the narrow statutory definition of caretaker set forth in this statute. And the second was there was no evidence that the authorization of the merger, which is the only thing that these, invest, that these defendants have been indicted for, created a substantial risk of harm that wasn't there already. A main issue the court focused on is an alleged offer from the Holyoke Medical Center to help by taking in veterans. The state is saying Walsh never contacted Holyoke Medical Center despite them reaching out. But Walsh's attorney says there was never an offer to begin with. There was no discussion at any time with the Holyoke Medical Center where they offered to take in people from the Holyoke Soldiers Home uh, to take in people who did not need treatment. That never happened. A decision was not made today. The justices taking the matter under advisement, meaning it could be months before they make a ruling on the appeal. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News. Lexi,